100. Thank you. Anyway, we got this weird package, and I never like opening weird packages with like multiple packages in it because I never know what it is. Sorry, Th I don't know that. You wouldn't. Why the hell would you? Also, I feel like if I do an unboxing of a product and it stays on the table for like four videos, I should get paid for that. I wish FOPO had been like, they, they just sent me the units, $500. So I wish FOPO would have been like, hey, here's the money so you can just keep it there for the rest of your, oh my God. ProtoArc, so here's a company that's actually going to think they're gonna sponsor videos or they're gonna just do this, this might just be their unboxing. This might just be their unboxing. This might just be their unboxing because they make an ergonomic wireless keyboard. And if there's anything I need in my life, more, is more wireless keyboard. So Pasta, you have to link to ProtoArc. I believe they have an Amazon site, but we'll double check. So what model number is this? This is the EK01. Oh, it's light. We have got a silica packet. We've got a USB-C charging cable, very thin, not necessary. I will take out this. And the only reason I agreed to do, I usually don't do peripherals that much, but the only reason I agreed to do it is because it's 2.4 gigahertz and not USB, not Bluetooth. I can't stand Bluetooth, oh my. So that isn't plastic covered in like fake vinyl leather. It's actually like a padded surface. Look how soft that is. And oh my God, they're not mechanical keys. Everyone freak out. I don't necessarily need mechanical keys. I'm perfectly fine. The, I don't sit there and type, you know, dissertations out. And if you're playing a game, maybe you, like it might be a matter of, but I'm just literally going, uh, let's see, Windows, Windows key. M to minimize everything, Alt X to close uh, Media Player Classic, and maybe Alt E for next track, last track, volume up, volume down, shuffle to fall. Like I'm just, it's basic controls for my programs, not typing. So this is perfect. Actually, these are really nice keys. They have like that little, the gentle indent. They're all concave a bit, except for the F keys, which are convex. These are all up and these are all down. And you have not just arrow keys here, but up, down, left, right, track, play navigation here, which I could actually demo this here. Wait, did this come with a little, where is it? Oh, there it is. There's your little receiver. What the hell? Oh my God, they finally did it. Someone finally did it. That's legit excitement. Because usually it's just the, the lifts in the back that tilt the keyboard like this. But this one has lifts in the back and the front, so either the whole keyboard can come up or you can lift just the front, because that's the best. Ah! Oh! You know how many times I've shoved a thing under the front of my keyboard to lift it up? Because typing like this doesn't help me. Typing like this is what, but typing like this is the, oh my God. I'm gonna have to make this my actual keyboard just for that feature alone. I like that there's not much on the bottom, some rubber feet. Fewer rubber feet, the better. I find if you have 97 rubber feet, it usually messes things up. Proto Arc, it's labeled at least. Here's your on-off key. Here's your USB charging port. So let's get to the rest of the stuff. With backlight, by the way, it is backlit. I'm tired of having wireless keyboards that are not backlit. Like I have the Keytron K6 right here, and I want to smash it onto the floor because it's Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth receiver on that will occasionally just be like, no, I'm not connected right now. Letter T, T, 70 T's go in place. And I'm just like, oh, this wouldn't happen on a 2.4 gigahertz. Um, they also sent me their sculpted design EMO one uh, mouse ball, it's like a, so it's a mouse, but it's not a trackball, it's a thumb trackball. There you go, you can't lose that. So I think this one is labeled ProtoArc and it says for this. This one has no labeling on it, so it's a different one, which is good, but I know they also sell a universal one for collect connecting all the devices. I'm not sure if that's what this is. Because I know they sell, it's like $6 for it. But if you don't have more than one ProtoArc product, you don't need that. But I, I think I specifically asked them for it and they may, may or may not have sent it. I didn't see it in the thing. Uh, eh. Somehow a different USB-C cable. That always weirds me out. Like a different connector head with strain relief. This might be a better cable. And here's our user manual for this. 
This one is 2.4 gigahertz plus Bluetooth, plus Bluetooth wireless recharge. Wait, plus Bluetooth wireless recharge? What? How does that work? So here's your input for USB. Here's your on off switch. Your trackball is mounted. That's a big boy. Oh, I have big man hands, in case you can't tell. My pinky is the size of Pasta's thumb. That's a, not a sexual thing. So we've got, hold on, I gotta, I gotta pull out a seat for this one. Because the keyboard I can just talk about while standing, but this one I wanna... You know what, I might be able to get into this. The only problem I see is the ball is a little bit slippery. I mean, it seems to be moving. I won't know until I'm actually using a mouse cursor on it. Let's, you know what, All right, let's, let's wake these up. Cover my, cover it in case something terrible is showing up. Okay, nothing is terrible. So let's turn this, let's plug this in first. I have, just happen to have two empty USBs here. So, plugged in. Minimize everything. Triple monitor. I guess pasta link the FOPO again. Now we're going to turn this on. Ooh, that's RGB around the ring. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. We have two buttons here, two buttons here, which that one's indicating a brightness. Tell me that's just for that, and I can't use that for other things. And this one doesn't have a mark. I don't know what that's doing. And you have one, two, three. Oh my God. So it's got indicator lights one, two, and three here. You have a cycle here, two and three. So that cuts you through the one, two, and three. No idea what they do, by the way. This is just a big silicone base. Oh, mouse is moving. Let's see, can I click? Can I cover that? Is there anything not safe for work there? Oh, it is my friends talking to me. Hold on. Let's see what, see what Dan has to say. So I'd have to adjust this. Can I adjust this? That's two. Just two disables that, and then three, three disables it. One, one it's working, the other two it's not working. So, I like to scroll. All right, as soon as I can adjust this mouse speed, I wish I could do it on the unit. I might be able to do it on the unit, I gotta read the manual. So that's that, let's plug in the keyboard too. Because if you have a triple head system, you might as well have every expensive, nice peripheral you can to make the sexy things go. So we'll move that over. And we have one last thing to unbox. Put my front lifts. Ooh, decent backlight. It's lighting, oh, it shut off the backlight. So here we go, we have, that looks like a, it's a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth connection. Your, actually, that's Wi-Fi, it's blinking very, very lightly. Bluetooth one, Bluetooth two. It's got a screen lock key, which we just locked. Uh, let's see, a click, let's click on here. We're gonna actually use this, this is wild. Hello, friend. I can't get over how good that feels with the front lifts and this nice soft pad. Hello, friend. Want me to try and help you do the wiring stuff today or tomorrow? Uh, later today is good or early tomorrow? I am typing on an unboxing. A little weird, I gotta get used to the light. I haven't typed on a actual split keyboard in a while and it was my default. Boxing. Early tomorrow is out, so tonight it is. Okay. What time is it now? It's already five, so whenever. So that's cool, and that's cool. I just gotta figure out how to make anything else go. Right click is solid. It's a little too fast, but it seems to be responsive. It's also strange, I'm not used to this, sort of. Wow, I mean, this is better than doing this to dick around with the fucking th triple screen. But I, uh, and I bet you the charge lasts in this forever. Can I hit play? Let me try the, uh, oh. Where is Fubar? It's 
the Windows key, FUBAR 2000. And now if we hit play, playback error failed. So it is trying to play, just FUBAR is broken. Oh, because there's no output device selected. We need to put it on the internal speakers. So we can lower the volume with it. Next track. Next track. What a way to go out. If any of you are copying this. That, here's your light key. So it's one, two, three brightnesses. Although I'd say the second and third brightness are roughly the same. So the low brightness is good. And then the ones that are bright are pretty close. And then you have your lock. This is pretty impressive. And here's your function lock key for these. So you should have brightness if I hold down function. Yeah, we can control the brightness of the, well, at least the center screen on that. Uh, let's see, function that. Puts us in window breakup mode, function that. Is alt tab, minimize, search, all, copy, cut, paste, the standard things. That doesn't have a function, should that be, is that just screenshot? There's a picture of a camera. I may have taken screenshots. All right, let's get to the last thing because Dan's coming over to help me wire things. So the last thing I was like, oh, can you also throw one of these in? So those two are pretty impressive. I mean, they're plastic. They're not mechanical, but they're t quiet. But I love the ergonomics of it. This is the XK01 foldable keyboard, which is why the box is so small. And I'm like, you know what? I, I literally am straightening out my laptop. The silver laptop that used to be in this thing, I'm putting a solid state in it. It has a one terabyte spinning disk 5400, which is why that computer down by the speakers was so slow. And if I take this home with me, like go visit my family or something, I would take the trackball mouse. I wouldn't take this, this is too big, but this, let's whip this out. I'm gonna whip it into shape, shape it up, get it straight. Go forward, move ahead. It says wireless, does it, does it mean Bluetooth? Because I would live with Bluetooth if it was just for this little baby one. Multifunction button, buh, 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 buh. Bluetooth, Bluetooth, Bluetooth. So this one's, this one's only Bluetooth. But I mean, I'll give it a pass because... Bamp, bamp. How does that work? Interesting, this is all hinge on the side. Actually, it's got rubber feet there and rubber feet there. So you, you just whip it out and it's already trying to pair. As soon as you open it, it must try to pair. So actually, did I sleep this? I think I only slept this. Wake up. No, I shut it down. Did I shut you down? I shut you down. All right, well, I can't pair it, but we've got function keys, escape, option or windows, command or alt, so it could work on Macs, arrow keys, Little, little tight here, but I mean, Jesus. If I put it on a flat surface. I need to put it on an actual flat surface and not a box. Hold on. Again, we're going to do that thing where I sit in a chair to give an actual opinion. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Perfectly flat now. I was worried because it, it, it will go past flat a little bit due to the hinges. That's very, you don't even notice here, like except for the D, the D key is up a little bit, but that's actually good because it helps you center. Windows key lock. Hello world. How are you doing? Yeah, no, this is fucking nice. This is the, this is the little baby crown jewel. And you got a settings key, which I mean, it's not doing anything. I could blue this, Bluetooth this to my fucking phone. No, this nice. This is plastic. I like the feel of the plastic. It's not shiny. There's no shiny plastic on any of this. Has anyone noticed there's no shiny plastic on any of this? That's all I want. That's all I wanted of things. Just want. I want no shiny plastic. So this now stays with my laptop and it seems to be magnetically sealed like that. USB-C charger. Did this even come with a cable? Yes, it did. It's under here. Is it better or worse than the other two? This looks like it's a carbon copy of the first one. Yeah, so the keyboards come with the same cable. The mouse comes with a slightly nicer cable. So I have to read instruction manuals, 
but you'll definitely see at least you'll see, oh, I'll know this is in use. This will be my like kick around keyboard for all sorts of things. Like if I do something crazy with this and frankly, if this works out, I might replace the big Kensington trackball I have on my home theater, like the actual projection screen theater, because I hate that fucking unit. I don't mind navigating with it, but you gotta wake it up. And if I don't have to wake this up, that's great. We'll see if it shuts off the, the lights. Can I shut off the lights? Well, let's see if we hold it down. It's red. Thing, thing, thing. Off. I knew there was a way to do it. All right, all right, so thank you. Thank you to ProtoArc for sending this stuff in. We might see it on my review desk every now and then. If they decide to actually pay for a promo, I'll be like, hey, there you go. Until then, I'll just borrow these things and uh, enjoy the hell out of them. Next.